the little onyx is here. You've been a good guy, man. You've been a good guy, so this is the place. Misfits. <laughs> the varies. Well, little onyx is at the vet, so pick him up later. <laughs> oh, what the hell they do, man? I wish it was to make me smoother, smooth as I can make it. And uh, I'm glad I got these wipers on this car because uh, when you're driving down these roads at night, and there's no street lights, and it's raining out, and the cars are coming at you. Ugh. Things work great, but um, yeah, it should be all right. So we'll get Dixie next week. Hopefully, Mr. Mr. Claus will come back. <clears throat> I don't know. Sent out some uh, flyers in the mail and stuff with four of his pictures. Two. Nothing else I could do, man. Well, I'm on the way to pick up Miss, Mr. Onyx, Little Onyx. Uh, supposedly doing great. I had his right ear tipped because Mama has a left ear tipped. And uh, they're very similar looking. So, I mean, I could tell the difference, but it's kind of hard. So, it'll be easier. And I um, should have the microchip put in them, too. That's what I requested. If not, I'm going to make sure that they do it. And um, anyway, I saw Dixie this morning. Still no Mr. Pause, but we're going to keep looking. All right. Yeah, meow, huh? You're freaking pretty damn lively, aren't you? You're in the fresh air. I just had him inside. He was by the door when it popped open the door. Now he's outside. You okay? Yeah, he does have his right ear tipped a little bit. That's good. Not a lot. That's good. So they can't pick him up, and they got the, what you call it for him, um, the chipping thing, the chip thing for him. Whew, man. And uh, Dixie goes in those patch of woods right over there. He was flying over there just yesterday, uh, just this morning or this afternoon, whatever, this afternoon. I'm going to try to, if I can get him tomorrow morning, or Friday morning, I will. He's still groggy. Feather just ran inside. What did they do to my son? Well, <laughs> so he's, he's good to go. Should have done this a month. Well, you know what? There was too much stuff going on. It was too cold. And I figured if he was outside, he might freeze his ass off with an operation. I don't know if that would have been good. And... Before that, I was working on those things, that big pole up there, so, you know. But then also, I wanted to make sure they had the six months, because they're males, because they can they can have a problem, you know. Actually, I found out, I think they're probably, I'm going to say he's born May 1st. I was thinking May 15th. Um, they say it takes six weeks to um, before their ears go up and their eyes are open. So, I saw him around mid-June or June 20th or something. I think it was around that date. Then I saw the other two maybe a couple weeks later, probably around July 4th or something. Um, but he already had his eyes open and stuff at that time. So he might have been like May 5th or May 1st. I'll say May 5th. Right? Huh? You okay? Still groggy. Come on. Want to go inside? <laughs> He's still groggy. I think I'm going to stay out of here and watch him. Make sure you don't get in trouble. Hmm? Come here. Come here, boo-boo. Up in here. Come on. There you go. He's inside. That's good. Whew. Oh, I feel better when he's inside, man. Holy shit. At least I know something's going to happen to him. Oh, here comes Dixie. Here he is. You see, I can't... Wait a minute. Yeah, it's... Second, I thought it was boots. He looks like his daddy. So he's right. What the fuck is he doing? Did he go in the hole? The pipe? No, he didn't. There, there he is. Wait a minute. Wait, get the camera on him. There he is. That's him. He looks like his daddy boots from a distance. He's a little smaller. But boots has got a little different. <laughs> boots of Confederate cat. Right? You hang around here. I just want to take pauses. Somebody nabbed them. I'm going to try to find, send out some more of those flyers. Oh, you smell your brother? Is that what it was? Your brother was here. 
Yeah, you're gonna get you. <laughs> you're next, boo boo. <laughs> you wanna know where your brother is? I'm gonna bring him inside. Hmm? I'm gonna I'm gonna send out I sent out a few in the mail um about Mr. Paws. I'm gonna send some more out. Right? You're booby. Come in. Yeah. He's probably gonna look he's gonna look pretty close to his dad. He's gonna have like uh tan feet versus <laughs> white feet. <laughs> right? Huh? Yeah, he's a small guy. Good thing you're all males. Hmm? I think I'm gonna bring him inside. Hmm? Mommy wanted to know where the hell you went, huh? You went flying over there by the woods, didn't you? And she didn't follow you, though. My son's looking for a girl. He's gonna be mama's boys now, right? <laughs> That's why I got pulled. Actually, I heard there's quite a few tuxedo looking cats around. Maybe, you know, somebody saw this cat and said, Oh, it's a tuxedo and they wanted it or something. But I heard there's that's a fairly. It's not. Well, it's popular though, I guess that's the thing. But, you know, th the thing is, it's not. I'm not looking for him because it's the pattern. It's I'm like, that, these are. He's got his two brothers and his mom over here. I don't know what the hell of dirt you got over here. Would you do laying something? Get ball and get him inside here if I can. Right? What's this? You got some treats here? Yo. Hmm? Hmm? Watch out for Slinky coming over eating your food, man. Freaking. It's another one. He's uh, hopefully not being as aggressive, but I saw it. It's another black cat. It has nothing to do with these cats. Um, he was chasing this guy. He was chasing Onyx. He's kind of aggressive. But, you know, that actually wears out after there's enough food and stuff. And they realize it. Yeah. I might get that one fixed, too. I don't know if, what the hell is with that one. I'll probably put it in a regular trapdoor trap. Sneak it in there. I could do that with you, too, but... I felt so bad for Onyx this morning. He was like crying. He was like, "Oh God, man!" Because Meow was so like, "Oh God, it's <laughs> killing me, man." All right? Right, Boo Boo. We got Gold Digger up here. Right, Gold Digger. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hi, little friend. Huh? Clean off her shelf. I got some new neodymium magnets coming. I'm going to set her up at Bio North on that shelf where she's hanging out with, which is a healing. Let's see if I get this guy in here. Right? Meow, meow. It's a couple hours, he's probably be like really souped up again. And he's out, he, so. I sure would, would be nice if you have the third brother here. Sure would be nice. But I've been trying to put him inside a little bit here and there. So, you know, he gets used to going inside. <laughs> he's now he's thinking I'm gonna grab him. <laughs> but anyway, so I don't think he, he ain't probably he's probably not gonna go nowhere. So I'm probably gonna go inside now. So uh, he doesn't really normally go across the street or nothing like the other ones did. Paul's actually never freaking ventured too far. So I'm figuring somebody's got him. I, mean, I don't know where the hell it would be. It would be. I already put some flyers out to some of the houses next to me. These two houses, that house. Talk to the lady down there in the corner. If he's in one of these houses, I don't know what the fuck one he's. Then again, they might not be telling me, you know, maybe they got him and I sent him a flyer and they're like, fuck you, you know. <laughs> right? You know, I was. So. Still woozy, huh, Onyx? Yeah. Actually, you see that sand there in the base of its, um, fl the flagpole? That's their, like, litter box, mainly. When I dug the hole for the flag. <laughs> so, maybe if I use some sand like that, 
toward a litter box, that might be okay. That's an idea. And notice, uh, you know, you can barely notice the ropes in this camera, but you don't see them past, I mean, I painted them black and stuff. You don't need them, but just extra insurance. Yeah, uh, whoa. There's Dixie under there. Right? You okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah. You okay, little guy? He's always been kind of hard to get. Right? You gonna be alright, fella? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of wobbly. <laughs> You all right? Don't go jumping up on nothing. <laughs> oh no. Eh, well. <laughs> your mommy's gonna be your girlfriend, okay? You and your mommy. So. <laughs> Shit. Leaves in the dirt and then he cleans himself. It's freaking. This cat's weird. He's a dude, man. He's probably. He's, no, he's a dude. Anyway, he's a dude. He's still a dude. What are we going to do with you, boo boo? <laughs> hey. Right? Yum meow, huh? you my puppy. You notice he's got like the same mahogany. Oh, it's crap. Is it coming out on the phone? Got, it's very close to the way his mom is. God, he's freaking pretty damn woozy. Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? I, I feel safer if you get him inside, though. <laughs> what the hell he got over here? or some shit. Yeah, they did get his ear. That's good. I told him to do the right ear. They did it a little bit. Didn't do it too much. When his fur comes in on that, you're going to hardly notice it for cosmetic, but that means they can't pick him up. Like, to, you know, if they come around. I don't know if they don't do that over too much over here, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> Get the antibacterial licking, right? Your tail is all like. Why is it? It's not like. Shit. <laughs> anyway, enough video on Mr. Onyx, but hopefully he'll be alright. <clears throat> if I go inside, he might follow me, hopefully. <laughs> 